Alex, thank you. Well, he was Strictly's head judge for 12 years before handing over the glitter ball baton to his replacement, Shirley Ballas. So, does he give retirement to 10 from Len, or is he missing the Saturday nights on the judging panel? Len Goodman joins us now. You haven't actually retired. I don't know why no. we're saying that. You're still, still doing the American. Still no, very I'm busy. I'm more of the American on my contract to do, yeah. which I'll do, and then... Who knows? You know, it's nice in LA. The sun shines. It is nice in the LA. The wife comes out, and the sun comes out. <laughs> it's a lovely little, but little thing. This morning, you are judging uh, the people who take advantage of a certain generation of us. My generation. Yeah. Yes. The scammers. Scammers. Mm. scammers. And I was thrilled, you know, because I'm nervous about scams. I'm not are tech you? savvy. And most people of my age, or, you know, 60 and above, we don't know what we're dealing with half mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. And it's our generation that the scammers go for the most. Mm -hmm. Now, Santander have got this marvellous scheme, SAS, mm -hmm. S Scam Avoidance School. Mm -hmm. And all through next week, Monday to Friday, 19th to the 23rd, you can go into any one of uh, Santander's branches and there's a 45-minute workshop. Mm. And you just have to go into your local Santander, say, I'd it like... It might save you a fortune. Yeah. I'd like to sign up. You, you, you have a lot of fun. It, they do yeah. it in a really nice That's way. That's a good idea. And what would you give <laughs> Shirley Ballas, who has come I in for some stick, did, to be fair? I thought she did a terrific job. It's always difficult to step in on somebody, well, whoever they are. into your shoes. Yeah. You well, were... no, I'm not saying because it was me, but it's tricky. But, you know, she went her own way. She became her own person. I thought lots of her comments were, were um, good and useful to people. You know, so I thought she did OK. What about the execution of Brendan Cole? Oh. Well, listen, I've not spoken to Brendan. I've not, so I have, I've not spoken to Shirley about it. I've not spoken to BBC about it. Mm -hmm. I only know what, what we all know. It's a bit like Putin. I don't think we'll ever know whether it was him. Who, <laughs> was he we'll, too naughty? Was he too tricky? I don't he... think he was. I always think uh, those pros should defend their celebrity. Yeah. Mm. Because if you're not careful, you come over as a bit of a bully, yeah. picking on people that can't defend themselves. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's admirable to say, no, wait a minute, I can't agree mm. with you. know, I, I maybe he went a tad over the top with it, but... Uh, no, I think it's good that the pros defend their well, partners. Well, then, it's even better you're still, uh, you're still going. You're a great national treasure. You really and it's are. It's so to have lovely you on our to show. see you. Well, it's a ten from me, Len, well, for that <laughs> interview. Is.